Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Some of my viewers have been asking for a more in-depth video on how to set up their wireless uh, IP cameras to be viewed from outside their home. So so that, that they can watch it from either their Android devices, iPhones, or their computer when they're at work. I'm going to try to cover as much of that as I can. And the first thing I'd like to mention is some of the questions were which DNS service do they have to use? You can use any one you want. For example, here I have the one by no IP. It is free and I've used them for years. Then there's one here that's by DYN DNS. This is also free and the only reason why I created an account here is I'll show you. As you can see here, this is admin screen for the Foscam. Uh, this part right here, the DNS service settings. And it was just it just happened to be one of this the the items listed here in the drop down. So I figured, you know what, might as well create an account here because it is free. You don't have to use it. I'll show you how it will work with the no IP as well as the DYN DNS. So let me first start with the no IP. With the no IP, and let me first log to my account. And now that I'm logged in, as you can see, I'm going to click on the host redirects. Currently, I have a host here, point to my IP address, but I'll show you how to add a new host. Simply click on add a host. And over here, there's the, in the drop down, you can choose all the domains you want to use. The ones up here, you need to pay to use these domains. But I find that the, uh, the no IP free domains are just, just as good. So let me create one called my Foscam1. And as you can see here, it already pre-populated this field with my IP address. If you don't know your IP address, you can look it up here. If you still if you doubt this number, you can open up a new browser tab and just go to the website what is my ip.com. And here it will tell you your IP address. Now back to this no IP screen simply type in the host name, your IP address, leave everything else the way it is, and click on create a host. Once you have that, so this is one I just created, I'll copy this, and if you take a, look, take a moment and look at this part, it says the host that I just created, it'll take about a minute to apply, so if I paste it and try to enter, enter, it, enter it through uh, Firefox, for example, you can see that server not found. That's because with no IP, it takes about it says one minute, but I found that I had to wait about five minutes more, more than five minutes at times. So this is one I created earlier today, my test cam. And as you can see, if I paste it here, it redirects me to my FOS cam. So here, this is no IP. It's simple, very easy to use. Let me just show you now how it's done on the DYN DNS service. So if you don't have an account, create an account. For me, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Now that I'm logged in, I can go to my services or here, simply here, my hosts. This will list all my hosts if I had any. Currently, I don't. I delete it just so I can show you how to create a new one. So now I'm going to click on add new host and just as before you have all these domains to choose from and for my host name I'm just going to simply type my Foscam1 and we read the service type is with host IP for the IP address here this is blank but all you need to do is just click on this field and it will populate it for you you can leave everything else the way it is and then click on activate one thing I noticed between no IP and DYN DNS is if you just copy and paste this to like uh, this browser right here for example let me just permit it it's resolved immediately now now it's, it doesn't mean that this one service is, is better than the other it just means a little bit faster when you do make changes but it's not often you'll be making changes to the host names to begin with so to me it's, it's a wash Alright, so now I have my host names pointing to my IP address. And the next thing I need to do is set up my router. It's just so that when I connect 
to this IP address, uh, my router will redirect the traffic to my webcam. And to do that, I'll need to configure my router, set up port forwarding, and also reconfigure the IPs for the FOSCAM I'm trying to add. So to access my router, I access the router's admin page for mine is 192.168.1.1. If you have a Linksys router or a Netgear router, I believe you'll be using this IP as well. If you're ever having doubts, just look in the manual. Everything's listed there. The manual for your router, that is. And when I log in, this is what my screen looks like. I'm after the port forwarding. If you're using one of the other routers, simply make your way to the port forwarding section. You probably need to click on the networks, for example, and then go to uh, security, and then port forwarding. So as you see here, I have my other IP cameras, and I also specify for anything trying to communicate on port 80 to automatically connect it, connect it to this IP address, the 192.168.1.150. 150, that's this one, uh, Marcus's webcam. So that is why before when I created this new DYN DNS, I did not need to specify any ports after this. If you don't specify a port, it automatically just assumes that you're trying to connect to port 80. So that's why I got redirected to Marcus. And as you saw previously, I got a new FOSCAM, the FI 8910W. So I'll be adding this to my array of FOSCAMs. And to do that, I'll need to log in to my fourth FOSCAM. Let's go to IP address of four. <clears throat> so this FOSCAM runs on the IP that ends in 154. I'm gonna log in here, go to device management. I call it FOSCAM four, and I'm gonna go to basic network settings. So, first thing I want to do is I do not want to automatically attain an IP address for my DHCP server, which is also known as my router. The reason I don't want that is because I don't want my router to assign this a different IP if it ever needs to reboot or essentially once a month my router would just um, randomly give out IPs to the devices on my home network. So I want to hard code it. Uh, because hard coding it that way, it's a lot, it makes port forwarding work a lot simpler since it always knows exactly what port my FOSCAM 4 will be running on. So I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to put in the IP address I desire 192.168.1.154. So now it's hard coded as a static IP for a subnet mask. This is the, the 255, this is generic applies to most home networks and gateway I'm going to use uh, 192.168.1.1 and the same goes for the DNS server that one that one and for the HDB port even though I'm on this port that ends at 154 and supposedly I should be use, be able to use port 80 I found that that when you're configuring uh, port forwarding, it's just a lot easier if you specify its own unique port. Uh, the reason is because the um, I'm already have I'm already using port 80 on uh, somewhere else, and when I try to connect on it from the outside world to my my own internal network, my Verizon router has a hard time adjusting between this port, the 154, versus the 150. Um, I did not have this problem when I had a Linksys router, so I figured just to make my life easier, I'll give the fourth FOSCAM a unique IP as well as a unique HTTP port. So here I'm going to give it 5656. I'm going to hit submit. So now it's going to restart, and while it's restarting, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to specify my own port forwarding rules. So here I specify the IP address, the 192.168.1.154, because I know that it's now hard coded. So every time I go to 154, it will be going to my FOSCAM 4. I'm on, I'm on TCP type of connection, and I'm looking at port 
5656. I'm going to click add. And if I go down here, there you see it. Now I'm going back to my Foscam 4. You see that the page couldn't load? That's because since I didn't specify a port here, it automatically assumed I'm trying to look at port 80. So I'm just going to put a colon 5656. And now I'm back. So here is the the my DYN DNS page uh, link I created earlier. This one took me to Marcus, the device Marcus, because that was what I had set to port 80. And if I put a colon 5656 here, hit enter, you see it from the top, it's now connected to Foscam 4. So this is the new Foscam I just I just uh, added. And now I can access it from the outside world. Hello. Inside, internally, I can use this. Externally, if I need to say add this URL, I can add this URL to my my uh, Foscam viewer, my iPhone app, my iPad app, any Android viewing apps. And every now and then, I believe the DYN DNS and also the uh, no IP, they'll send you an email and just say, hey, uh, it's been 30 days. Do you still want your 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 DNS URL to work? Just say, just cl click on the link to accept it. You have to put up with it because it is a free service. The only way around it is if you start paying for it. So the next part I want to show you is adding the DYN DNS account, the host name you just created earlier, to the FOSCAM. Uh, before I mention that, the no IP I've used it for years, and I only start using the DYN DNS because of the FOSCAM, and I'll show you why. So here, just click on the DDNS service settings. You can just pick the one you created. For me, it's the DYN DNS, and enter your account information. And for the host, you can just simply copy this line. Just copy it, then paste it here, and hit submit. Now, while this is rebooting, the another difference between the uh, no IP and uh, DYN DNS um, is that with no IP, every now and then I'll need to log in, click modify on the host I created, and update my IP address because sometimes uh, every now and then Verizon will issue me a new IP address. So with the DYN DNS, the same concept applies. But what I notice is that if I just directly give Foscam my account information, my account name and password, and the host name, then essentially it will just log in for me and update my, my IP address. So it's just one less step for me to do, one less thing to maintain. And I find it quite easy too. So now I see in the status page, this is the DDNS status, successful. It, it automatically pulled this information from the DYN DNS website. And this one was the one I created earlier, the one from no IP. If I just put a colon 5656, as you see, it also found a device Foscam 4. I believe that I have, oh, this was one I created earlier too. And if I go to this no IP address, also put a 5656 and give it permissions to enter. It's also going to resolve itself and say found Foscam 4. So now that this Foscam has been added to my dynamic DNS host, I just need to add the information to my iPad. So here I have my iPad. And I'm just going to run one of my FOSCAM apps. In this case, it's this one right here. So as you see, this is the one that was at 150, Marcus. To add a new FOSCAM app, I click the plus button. I'm just going to call this one FOSCAM4. For the remote address, 
um, paste in this name I created earlier. Fi my foscam one dns ipcom and port. It's very important on port fifty six fifty six. So with this app, I can also specify a local one in case my uh, DNS doesn't resolve. So for my local IP address, I put in 192.168.1.154. Choose my model camera. This model, this this uh, app has my model in here, so I'm click, click done. After enter entering my user ID and password. Let's click done. And to the right, this is the FI8910W. So now I can view this anywhere. Anywhere I have internet access. So that was just a demonstration with the FOSCAM app. If I were to use a free app like the Cam Viewer, for example, I can also just uh, create a new one here too. And for, say, the name, I'll just paste in that. I'll call it Foscam4 again. S F O S C A M 4. And let's see, for the address, I'm going to put in that IP, the dynamic DNS uh, IP uh, name I created earlier. And I have to put in colon 5656 for the port. Now I need to put in my username and password. Put in my password, and it says uh, for the connection audio. If you want this to use this feature, you got to pay for this app. But without it, you can still use it for just about everything else: moving, tilt, pan. You cannot zoom with this free app. So I'm gonna click done. Since it's here, and voila! It's, it's as easy as that. It's very simple setup. So now you can view it on your iPhone, on your Android phone, in the Android um, App Store. Just search for where Foscam, and a number of apps will come up. The same goes for the Apple App Store. Well, I hope I've been able to provide some assistance on helping you set up your dynamic DNS names, configure your broadband routers, and set up your Foscam so that you can view them from outside your home. I'll need to make another video on the recording software and applications I've used with my Foscams, so stay tuned. Please rate this video, like it, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.